Good day, everyone. Wayne Motts from the National Civil War Museum out on the Gettysburg battlefield to an out-of-way place, a seldom-seen place. And my guess is, no matter how many times you've been out here to the Gettysburg battlefield, you may not have been to where I'm standing, across from our high school, north of Gettysburg, at the location of Hillary P. Jones' Confederate Artillery Battalion, the artillery attached to Jubal Early's division here in the Battle of Gettysburg. Now, the Confederates organized their artillery in batteries. Normally, it was four guns to a battery, and normally four batteries to a battalion. So this artillery battalion under Jones had 16 guns in it, and they were located here on July 1st, 1863, with 12 of them firing. So on the first day of the battle, in the afternoon, Jubal Early's division comes down, heading south on the old Harrisburg Road. That's the road in front of me, behind the viewer, and this artillery from Jones' Battalion is posted here behind me and fires into the Union forces on the afternoon of July 1st at the end of the first day's fight off over to the right of your screen. And the artillery battalion stays in position here throughout the rest of the battle with some exceptions. So hopefully next time you come here to the Gettysburg Battlefield, you'll come out to this location, Jones's Artillery Battalion, right across from a high school north of Gettysburg. And I want to thank the Peach Orchard Brigade Northwest Battalion for their sponsorship of this Thursday snapshot. And look, if you're not a subscriber here at the YouTube channel, you should be. I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks.